Hi, this is Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. Today I have a quick little tutorial to share with you. Um, I had made a little project a few weeks ago using some leftover papers that I had from the Cartabella Beach Day. And it was just a little, and I'm sorry I don't have that because it's at my local scrapbook store. But it was just a little, um, like a little wallet folio type thing. And so it opened like this, and then it opened like this, and then you had these little pullouts like this. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I made this because I did have people ask how I did it. And um, first off, let me just say this was not my idea. I'm sure there's a bunch of these on YouTube. Um, my sister had actually sent me a photo of one that she had made. And I said, oh, that's super cute. Send me the measurements. So I'm not sure where she got it, but these are the measurements that she had sent to me. So that's what I'm going to share with you. So what you're going to need, your scoreboard, your paper trimmer, your cardstock, any design paper, that you want to use and some glue some uh, score tape or wet glue whatever your adhesive of choice is and um, bump holder so here we go the first piece you're going to need to make the base of that uh, the little project is a piece that's six by eleven okay and then you're going to need two pieces that are four four by nine and a half now when I cut these at four inches I'm just on the inside line so they're just a I mean they're just like shy of four so that way when they do fold they're gonna fold a little bit nicer so it is four by nine and a half but just cut it on the ones the inside of the line on your paper trimmer for the four inches I hope that makes sense <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna score the base piece <clears throat> and we're gonna put it in here 11 inches at the top and our first score mark is gonna be at three and three quarters let me turn over this way so you can see it better. Three and three quarters. And then we're going to score again at four. Then we're going to score again at eight. And then we're going to score again at eight and a quarter. Like this. So we have three and three quarters, four, eight, eight and a quarter. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and take our two pieces that are four by nine and a half. And we're going to score at three, six, and nine. So again, we got nine inches here and our four inches here. We're going to go three, six, and nine. So do that to both pieces. And I'll put a link to the little project so you can see it, uh, the video down below in the description box if you want to know what the original one I did look like. So this was a great way to use up scraps. So you have two of those and then we have our base piece. So then what you want to do, move this out of the way, go ahead and fold on your score lines. Really good with your bone folder. Okay, so that's basically the base of our little book, our little wallet thingy, little whatever we want to call it. I'm not sure, but it's super cute. So this is the front, and then it's going to open like this, and open like this, and then we're going to make our little pull-ups that go on the inside. So then we're going to go ahead and take these now. For these, I always have to think about how I want to put these in here because I, depending on how I want them to fold out. So I want this one to fold in. We're going to accordion fold them. So let's think about this for a minute. So we're going to fold one this way and fold the other one back. And then we have our little flap. And try to keep it a little straighter than that, silly girl just like that okay so there's one and we're gonna fold the other one again we're gonna accordion fold it or mountain valley or whatever y'all want to call it just make sure that it's straight okay so we have these two little pieces. So now we're going to take our little pieces 
and we're going to flip them over here and we're going to put our score tape or our wet glue or whatever your adhesive of choice is and we're going to go ahead and stick it down just for the video i'm going to use this little wet glue and hopefully it'll it'll work it's not plugged up nope it is plugged up so let's grab the score tape all right So we're going to go ahead and add our score tape onto our little flap, just like that, to both sides. And remember, key to score tape, you need to burnish. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put these, one on this side, and we're going to position them right in our score lines, like this and this one like this and they should meet right up because we're, we scored them at three and six so we're going to go just like that now you can decorate this any which way you want you can add magnets um, the one I did for the store was just like I said I just wanted to use some scraps so what was left over of um, a little mini album project that I made so it worked out great because it didn't take a lot of paper so it's a great way to use up your leftover six by six paper pads or whatever else you might have okay then I'm going to put this one in like this again in between those inners inners <laughs> inside score lines alrighty then to make sure they're even perfect Okay, then that's going to fold like that, and that's going to fold like that. Now, you can use a magnet here. I think in my original project, I did use a magnet right here, but you can use um, a super cute, some of those super cute little clips. You know, they got those really cute little paper clips now, or you can use a cute little clothespin, those cute little planner clips that are all the rage. Um, anyway, it makes a cute little book, and it can be whatever you want. You can This can be your cover, and then it opens like this. You can make add pockets here if you want, or just do little photo mats. All I did was... Um, I spelled the word beach here with some thickers and then this folds down and I just made these all into photo mats. And then when you put your design paper here, you're going to cover these little hinges up so you won't see those. So there you go everybody. That's my little quick tutorial on how I made that little wallet project. That again was not my design. Uh, my sister showed me a photo of hers. So she just sent me the measurements that she used on her project. So there you go everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.